Hey guys, Rob here with your EY Gaming Weekly Roundup of some of this week's biggest announcements in both gaming and tech. So in gaming this week we saw a big announcement from Respawn Entertainment who have announced a new Medal of Honor game which will be based in VR. The game is set in World War II and sees you play as an allied agent of the Office of Strategic Services, taking you across Europe as you fight in different battles and iconic scenarios. VR is continuing to grow and it's amazing to finally see a big name like Medal of Honor stepping into the VR realm. The game is going to feature around 50 single player scenarios and then also potentially have multiplayer modes as well. We're going to be keeping a close eye on this one and we'll definitely be streaming it when it releases in 2020. Yesterday also saw the release of a brand new trailer for the upcoming Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game. Showcasing Cal's mission, in the trailer we get to see some more in-depth gameplay and have a look at some of the combat and characters that are going to be in the game. This is looking to be one of 2019's biggest games and as a massive Star Wars fan I'm excited to get immersed in the world and play it. I've put a link in the description to the trailer so if you're interested make sure you click that and go and have a look at the video. In tech this week, Corsair released their brand new headset, the Virtuoso RGB Wireless. This is a premium headset that features 7.1 surround sound, a professional grade omnidirectional microphone and up to 20 hours of battery life. We released a first look video on our YouTube channel so if you're interested in getting a new headset then make sure you check this one out. And finally Nvidia have made a huge announcement this week with the introduction of the Nvidia RTX broadcast engine. This is a new set of RTX accelerated software development kits that uses AI capabilities of the RTX graphics cards to transform live streams. The new SDKs enable next-gen streaming tools like virtual green screen, style filters and augmented reality effects without the need for special equipment. This is great news for streamers that use RTX cards and it's amazing to see Nvidia further innovating their product feature set for both gaming and streaming. So that's it for this week guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week for more videos.